the 11th hour of the 11th day, the 11th month of 1918, hostilities in World War I ended. The hope that the world could find peace. Celebration rang out throughout the world, throughout this nation, this state, and this county. While that peace was short lived, Americans' respect and support for the uniformed veterans was not. Known around the world as Armistice Day for some, Remembrance Day for others, the 11th day of November is set aside to honor all those who have honored us with their service. On behalf of American Nation Post 26 and the Ladies Auxiliary, welcome to this 2014 Veterans Day ceremony. Representative King, Mr. Cannon, fellow comrades in arms, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. We are here today to pay tribute to all veterans of all wars, but we also salute those who serve the great nation during times of peace. The American veteran represents yesterday, today, and tomorrow. They are the past, our present, and our future. The American veteran comes in all shapes and sizes, short and tall, skinny and not so skinny. They are all races, colors, and creeds. They are men and they are women. They have come home to become teachers, lawyers, preachers, bricklayers, truck drivers, postal workers, police officers, and doctors. The American veteran can be and is in every walk of life. The American veteran is red, white, and blue. The American veteran is the reason we, as Americans, have our freedoms. Oh,
for allowing me the honor and privilege to join you today. Today, you know, it was uh, President Calvin Coolidge who many, many years ago said that a nation which, it, which forgets its defenders would itself be forgotten. And when you see programs like you saw today with the Junior ROTC and the Junior High Choir, uh, you know that this nation will never forget its defenders, and certainly this community will never forget its defenders. And I'm so proud to be part of a community and a region that remembers its veterans like we do here. The, uh, I also want to thank uh, each and every individual and organization that helped put together this program today. This is one of the finest veterans programs that I had the opportunity to attend each and every year. My, uh, my job this morning is to introduce to you a very, very distinguished individual, Mr. Henry Cannon. Henry Cannon was born on August the 20th, 1923 in San Diego, California as the fifth of 12 children. Henry, like so many others, decided to leave school and help his family to ensure that his sisters were able to stay in school because of the Depression. When World War II began and Pearl Harbor was attacked on December 7th, 1941, Henry heard the call to duty. And six days later, after waiting in line for three days and nights, he enlisted in the U.S. Navy on December 13, 1941. After boot camp, he was assigned to the battleship USS Tennessee, BB-43. As an apprentice seaman fireman, he was assigned to the powder room for the 5-inch guns and 20-millimeter cannons. Henry saw major action during World War II, including the Aleutian Islands, and Tarwa in 1943, the Marshall Islands, Bismarck Archipelago, Mariana Islands, Palau Islands, Battle of Lake Tigo, and Battle of Sarago Strait in 1944, and finally Iwo Jima and Okinawa in 1945. During his exemplary service during World War II, Henry was awarded the Bronze Star and the Purple Heart. Commendations and other awards received were American Campaign, Asiatic Pacific Campaign with Silver and Four Bronze Stars, WW2 Victory, Navy Occupation Service, Reserve Medal, Navy Unit Commendation, Philippine Liberation with Bronze Star, Philippine Presidential Unit Citation. After World War II, Henry, like so many others, looked for work in a variety of positions, ranging from fry cook, construction, truck driver, heavy equipment operator, and car salesman. After moving to Fort Clark Springs in 2011, he tried to retire, but says he has a hard time not trading cars every now and then. Mr. Cannon was selected for the honor flight of September 12, 2014. Today, we are proud to honor Mr. Cannon for his steadfast devotion to duty and service to the United States of America. Please help me welcome Mr. Henry Cannon, our distinguished guest speaker for this Veterans Day ceremony. The heroes didn't make it back. So let's think about that. 50,000 was killed in Okinawa. No telling how many wounded, but I know I'm one of them. But that's a true story. I saw it in Agronomics. I thought there was a lot killed then, but I didn't think 50,000. Then the history tells you that was the bloodiest war in World War II. Remember, my buddies didn't make it back. Last year on Veterans Day, the American Legion Auxiliary Unit 479 dedicated the veterans' walls. These walls featured bricks with individual soldiers' names. Today, Unit 479 is welcome, welcoming the addition of a Blue Star Memorial Marker to the veterans' walls. This Blue Star Memorial Marker, which is a national monument honoring all veterans, is being donated by the Uvalde Garden Club which is 70 years strong this year. Congratulations, you Valley Garden Club, on 70 years of garden clubbing, and thank you for your generous gift of the Blue Star Memorial to all veterans on this veterans' day.
We're going to let them take theirs first. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stand about 30 feet away.